Hello friends. In this video, we are going to discuss about the buck converter, the circuit operation. Okay. So here we are having the circuit diagram for the buck converter. Here V S is the supply voltage, which here we are having that is nothing but the chopper, the diode, inductor, capacitor, and here it is a load. Okay. here if you check if you compare this circuit with a step down chopper okay here we have added a diode inductor and a capacitor okay next voltage across load is v0 current flowing through the load is i0 current flowing through the capacitor is ic current flowing through the inductor is il current flowing through the diode is id right the supply current is is which current or the chopper current is isw okay now let us discuss the circuit operation okay so here when switch is in the on state when switch is in the on state so we can write during during t is equal to 0 to t on t is equal to 0 to t on right so during t is equal to 0 to t on yes that is switch is in the on state okay so when switch is in the on state at that time what will happen here we will be having the circuit like Which is acting as a short circuit. Here we are having a capacitor. Next load, okay, and the diode will be in the open state, right? Because diode will be in the reverse bias mode, okay? Because when switch is in the on state, the diode will be in the reverse bias mode, okay? So at that time, if you check, yes, this is the load we are having, okay? Voltage across load is V zero, right? Next capacitor capacitor current is ic okay this is a i0 inductor l inductor current is il okay inductor voltage is vl diode is a open circuit which is closed right so this current is isw this current is is okay and here we are having the vs okay so it is like when switch is in the on state inductor go on storing the energy okay so here in all the converters buck boost or buck boost converter okay we are going to assume that the load voltage is constant load voltage is constant and the load current is also constant okay so here load current i have assumed it is a constant okay so what are the assumptions load current is constant and at the same time load voltage is also constant it is a ripple free okay because if you check if you check in the case of step down chopper yes what was the v0 v0 wave form was it is a like non zero vs After that zero. After that again V S. Like this waveform we were having. Okay. So here, in order to avoid that waveform, yes, here we have connected a inductor, a diode, and a capacitor in a circuit. Okay. So due to that, what will happen? Yes. Here, if the switching frequency is increased, then we will be getting the constant load current and the constant load voltage. Okay. Now the function of the inductor is it it opposes the change in the current. Okay. So that's why it will cause the current flowing through the load to be constant the function of the capacitor is to oppose the change in the voltage okay so that's why the capacitor is connected across the load so that's why this capacitor will try to maintain the constant voltage across the load okay so now when t is, is equal to 0 to t on when t is in between 0 to t on okay at that time we will be having yes during this time we will be having inductor is storing the energy inductor is storing the energy so inductor current Will be increasing from I min to I max. For very first cycle, it will be starting from zero. But for continuous cycle, it will be starting from I min to I max. Okay. So inductor go on storing the energy, right? Inductor is storing the energy. Next, as I said, I zero is constant current, right? I zero is a constant current. I zero means what? It is average of I min and I max. Average of I min and I max. Okay. So I zero is a constant current. Next, here here if you check, right? I C. Is equal to what? I L minus I zero. Yes, we can write I C is equal to I L minus I zero. Okay, but I zero is a constant current, so we can write it as a I L minus capital I zero. It is a constant load current. Okay, so what is the I C? If you check when I L is I mean when I L is I mean at that time, what is the I C? I C is I L minus I zero. Right, so it should be negative, right? Because I mean minus I zero. I mean minus I zero. I mean is less than I zero. So therefore, it will be negative, right? And what is the value of this? Yes, it. If you check, yes, 
it is this magnitude that is a delta i l right delta i l is nothing but i max minus i min okay so can we say that this difference i min minus i zero is nothing but what 50 percent of this delta i l okay so here we can write it as is equal to yes it is i min at this instant i am writing okay at this instant it is i min minus i zero right so it is equal to what delta i l divided by 2 okay delta i l by 2 minus delta i l by 2 okay so if this i l is capital yes here here also we need to take it as a capital okay so minus delta i l by 2 are you getting the point because delta i l means what i max minus i min this is the delta i l okay so what is i min minus i zero i mean is less than i zero so definitely it is a negative okay and what is the difference yes it is a 50 percent of this delta i l okay next so this is the minus delta i l by 2 okay so that's why here it is a we are having i c so after that as i l increases this difference goes on decreasing okay at this instant i l and i 0 becomes same equal so that's why the difference becomes 0 and after that again i l will be greater than that of the i 0 so again this difference go on increasing okay and when i l is equal to at i max when i l is equal to i max at that time yes what is the value when i l is equal to i max then it is i max minus i 0 i max minus i 0 means what again i max minus i 0 means 50 percent of this value so it is a i max is greater than i mean i 0 okay i max is greater than i 0 so that's why it is a plus delta i l by 2 so this value will be plus delta i l by 2 right plus delta i l by 2 is this clear okay so in this way we can write okay after that again during t on to capital t during t on to capital t what will happen yes we can draw the circuit during during t is equal to t on during t is equal to t on to capital t t on to capital t yes if you check during this interval the switch is open okay so when the switch is open the equivalent circuit will be like this which is open circuit here we will be having the inductor okay next here it is a capacitor next load okay next here we will be having the diode that will be in the conduction mode okay so like this we will be having the circuit okay so load load voltage is v0 load current is i0 okay next capacitor this is the inductor i0 current this current is ic and this current is il okay voltage across inductor is vl okay and diode current here will be having the id right supply current is is which current is isw okay and this voltage is vs right this voltage is vs okay now so if you check if you check yes when which is in the off state that is from t on to capital t yes whatever the energy stored by the inductor inductor will release that energy right inductor will release that energy through the load is this clear okay so again can we write it as il is equal to ic plus i0 but i0 is constant current so therefore ic is equal to what il minus capital i0 right because of constant current we are having okay so again inductor is releasing the energy means what inductor current should go on decreasing right so inductor current decreases from i max to i min inductor current decreases from i max to i min is this clear okay so when switch is in the off state inductor releases the energy so inductor current go on decreasing okay so as inductor current decreases right and it is ic is equal to what il right il minus i0 right so during this interval means from this point to this point okay il is greater than i0 so therefore current or the difference is positive okay after that yes il becomes less than i0 so that's why the difference will be negative that is ic will be negative okay next further if you check yes if you check during this interval during this interval what is a vl can we write vl is equal to during this interval yes we can write vl apply kvl to this loop minus vl minus v0 we can write minus vl minus v0 is equal to 0 so therefore vl is equal to what minus v0 right vl is equal to minus v0 okay next during this interval right during the during t is equal to 0 to t1 what is the vl can i apply kvl it is a plus vs minus vl minus v0 i am writing here plus vs minus vl minus v0 is equal to 0 so therefore vl is equal to what it is a 
Vs minus V0, Vs minus V0. Is this clear? Okay. So this is during T is equal to 0 to T1. And this is during T is equal to T1 to T. Okay. So in this way, the operation goes on repeating. Okay. So if you check when switch is in the on state, inductor stores the energy. So current go on increasing from I min to I max. Okay. And when switch is in the off state, inductor releases the energy. So if you check at all the time, at all the time, the current flowing through the load, it will be non-zero only. Current flowing through the load will be non-zero because for one time or during zero to one, current is flowing from source towards the load. And during the, when the switch is in the off state at that time, due to the inductor, due to the inductor, yes, here inductor is releasing the energy means what? Inductor current will be flowing, right? Through the, through the load. Are you getting the point? Okay. So this is about the simple operation of the buck converter. Now, as long as the converters are considered, okay. In the converter circuitry, we are going to derive, we are going to derive the 14 expressions, right? 14 different expressions. Okay. I'm saying 14, one, four different expressions because they have asked the number of questions on these expressions in the previous gate and IES examinations. Okay. So we are going to derive the following parameters, right? Following parameters, following parameters. Okay. So first. We are going to find when switch is on, then find VL and IC. When switch is on, SW, switch is SW, is on, right? Then find, then find, yes, VL and IC, voltage across inductor and current flowing through capacitor, that is IC, okay? Second, when switch is off, when switch is off, then find, then find, yes, PL and IC, PL and IC. Okay, so here, whatever we have find, right, whatever we have discussed here, okay, when switch is in the on state, we have calculated IC, right, we have calculated, we have derived the, uh, written the expression for VL. When switch is in the off state, right, so at that time also we have written IC and again we have written the VL as well, okay, so these are the first two steps. The third parameter, right? The third parameter we need to find. Third step. Third one. It is hold second balance. Okay. We need to write hold second balance equation. Hold second balance equation. Right. Fourth one, ampere second balance. Ampere second balance. Okay. Ampere second balance. Okay. So please try to understand. What is the hold second balance? Okay. Hold second balance is nothing but right. If you check, if you check, yes, when switch is in the on state, inductor is storing the energy, right? So current flowing through the inductor is changing from I min to I max. Right? Means when inductor stores the energy, current is increasing from I min to I max. Again, when switch is in the off state, at that time the inductor is releasing the energy. Inductor is releasing the energy, right? So at that time, the Voltage, sorry, the current flowing through the inductor, it go on decreasing from I max to I min. Okay. So again, for the next cycle, that is for next on time, it is again increasing from I min to I max. Okay. So if you check before the starting of the first cycle, the current was I min. And at the end of the first cycle, again, the current is I min. Okay. So can we say that whatever the energy stored by the inductor is equal to energy released by the inductor? Very, very important. Okay. And energy stored by the inductor is equal to energy released by the inductor. And in the case of inductor, what is the energy? V into I into time. Energy is power into time. Okay. So voltage across inductor into current flowing through the inductor into time. Okay. So if you check current flowing through the inductor during or the average current flowing through the inductor during 0 to T1 is same as that of the T1 to T because it is again linear I min to I max, I max to I min. So what is the average energy? Average energy will be, uh, sorry, average current, average current is same. Okay. So at both the sides, it will be getting cancelled and we will be getting only hold second balance equation. Are you getting the point, right? Because in the case of inductor, I am writing, in the case of inductor, energy stored by the inductor, energy stored is equal to what? Energy released. Is equal to what? Energy released. Okay. What is the energy stored? Energy stored is VL into IL into time. Time is T1. This is doing T1 only, right? What is the energy released? VL into IL into T minus T1. Okay. But what is the average energy during T1, average current during the 
T1 and T off, it will be same. So IL, IL will get cancelled because what is the average when the current is increasing from I min to I max? What is the average value? It is I min plus I max by 2. Suppose we are having the current which is increasing from 0 to 2 ampere. Then what is the average value? Average value will be 1 ampere. How to find the 1 ampere? It is a 0 plus 2 divided by 2. Right? So that's where the 1 ampere. If the current is increasing from 1, if the current is increasing from 1 to 3 ampere, right? From 1 ampere, suppose this is a 1 ampere, this is a 3 ampere. Then how what will be the average? It is a 2 ampere. How to find that 2 ampere? 1 plus 3 divided by 2. That is a 4 by 2 means 2 ampere. Okay. So similarly, average here is I min plus I max by 2. Similarly, here inductor average current is I max plus I min by 2. So that's why the average current will be same in both the cases during T1, during T off. So that's why it is like a hold second balance equation. Okay, hold second balance equation. Similarly, ampere second balance equation, ampere second balance equation. So if you check in the case of capacitor, initially at the very first or at the beginning of the cycle, the current was minus IL by 2, right? Again, after the completion of the first cycle, this current is at the same value that is a minus delta IL by 2 only. Is this clear? Okay. So therefore here, can we say that whatever the charge is stored by the capacitor, the capacitor releases the same charge. Okay. So if you check, when switch is in the on state, at that time the capacitor go on storing the charges. When switch is in the off state, when switch is in the off state, then diode conducts, right? Inductor releases the energy at the same time capacitor also discharges, right? So capacitor also discharges. Is this clear? Okay. So therefore in the case of capacitor, charge stored is equal to charge released. What is the charge? Charge is nothing but the current into time. Right. So that's why it is the ampere second balance equation. Okay. Next, fourth or sorry, fifth term where we are going to write is, yes, the fifth term we are going to write is ripple in inductor current. Ripple in inductor current. Ripple in inductor current. Inductor current, right? That is nothing but the delta I L, right? Delta I L, okay? Is nothing but change in the inductor current. Change in the inductor current. So if you check the inductor current is changing from I min to I max. So what is the ripple? It is I max minus I min. I max minus I min. That is the ripple, okay? Next, sixth parameter we are going to write. Sixth parameter. Yes, it is I L max. Expression for the maximum inductor current. Seventh, I L min, okay? I L max and I L min, okay? Yes, it is the I L max and next one is the I L min, okay? Eighth parameter is source current. I S, source current, average value of the source current we are going to write, okay? Ninth parameter we are going to write or write the expression or derive the expression is the switch current. Switch current. Switch current. Okay. Average and RMS. Average and RMS. Okay. Tenth parameter we are going to write diode current. Diode current. Yes, it is the average and RMS. RMS and average value of the diode current, right? 11 number is ripple in capacitor voltage. Ripple in capacitor voltage. Or it is also known as, if you check capacitor is connected in parallel with the load, right? So load voltage is same as that of the capacitor voltage, okay? So or the output voltage, right? 12 number. At what D ripple is maximum? At what duty cycle? At what D ripple is maximum? Ripple is maximum. Okay, at what duty cycle the ripple is maximum? And the maximum ripple value, right? What is the value of that maximum ripple? We are going to find, okay? Maximum ripple value. And the 13 is critical inductance. What is the value of critical inductance? Critical inductance. And 14th one is a critical capacitance. Critical capacitance. 
okay so as long as the converters are considered we are going to find the expressions of these 14 parameters right these 14 parameters okay so so in this video we have discussed about the basic operation of buck converter and how the nature of the il i0 and ic okay what is the voltage across the inductor when it is in the on state what is the voltage across the inductor when it is in the off state okay what is the capacitor current when it is in the on state what is the capacitor current in the when it is in the when the switch is in the off state okay so in the next video we are going to discuss some parameters of the buck converter right out of these 14 parameters in the next video we are going to discuss some of these parameters okay so thank you